Welcome along to our video tutorial series where we are learning how to create Minecraft worlds using Python code. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a very basic house. It looks something like this. So we've got a brick house with an iron roof. If we just walk our way through the house, you can see it's completely empty. It's been hollowed out with blocks of air. We've got a little glass pane window at the front as well to let a little bit of light in besides with the door. Alright, so let's get started on this basic house. Um, just be aware that we are going to be making more complex houses in future tutorials. This is just the start of something bigger and better. Alright, so jumping on over to our Python editor, which is Mu. I want you to add in your usual first two lines of code, which import all the functions from the Minecraft module and then connect the two apps together, Mu and Minecraft. And I also want you to add in the code to completely clear the world and give us an empty canvas to build on. Once you've done those two things, I want you to put in a comment that says building blocks. And we're just going to make a list of the blocks we need to build this house today. So we're going to need some bricks. So make a variable called brick. And I want you to set it to number 45, which is, if you look at your ID list, the brick block. Some other blocks we're going to need to use is air to hollow out the house. So set air to zero. That's number zero on our block ID list. We're going to use a glass pane for the windows, so I'm just going to make a variable called window and I'm going to set that to 102. And for the roof I used an iron block and iron is number 42 in your block ID list. If you want to use other blocks for your house, by all means go for it, uh, but if you want to copy me just stick with what I'm using today. And now the next thing I'm going to do is list the dimensions of the house. So I'm going to put in a comment that says house dimensions. And we're going to list the length first of all, which is going to be nine blocks long. That's the side of the house. If I just jump around the side, you can see the side is a bit longer than the front of the house. So that's going to be the length of the house. Um, from there, we're going to list the height, which is going to be equal to four blocks high. So from ground up, we're going up four blocks. And for the width, which is the front of the house, we're going to set it to six blocks. All right, from there we're going to set our start coordinates up. So a comment that says set the coordinates would be good. And as always, we're just going to start building from the center of our page. So x, y, and z will be equal to zero for our starting coordinates. You don't have to use zeros. You can change them to whatever numbers you would like. So you don't always have to build from the center of your Minecraft world. You could head 100 blocks to the right on your x-axis and go and build over there if you wanted to. Um, but I'm just keeping it easy by using zeros for now. All right, so that's the basics all set up. What we're going to do now is start building the house. So the first thing we want to do is build that big brick slab. So I'm going to put in a comment here that says house. And as always, we just use mc.setBlocks function to build multiple blocks onto the page. So we're going to start at x, y, and z. So that's just zero, zero, zero for the corner of our house. And then we're going to do x plus the length, y plus the height. Oops. Should probably learn to spell. And then z plus the width. All right. And then the final thing we need to put in is the uh, block we're using. So we're using brick to start with to build our house. Once you've got that in, save it up. This one's going to be called number 13, Basic House, and give it a run. And you should just get a big brick slab on your page. Okay, so if we just go for a walk around, you can see there's the nine blocks down the side there for the length, six blocks across the front for the width. If we were to try and cut through this, you would see that there's just more bricks inside of there. So our next job is to hollow this house out with blocks of air. So back to our code, we'll put in a comment that says hollow out the house with air. And we're basically going to draw what we just drew, but a tiny bit smaller. So the outer layer of the bricks remains, but everything else inside is just hollowed out with air. So we're going to do mc.setBlocks again as our starting point. I'm going to do x plus 1 uh, for our starting x value, then y plus 1. Oops. And then z 
plus one. So that's easy for our starting points, x, y, and z plus one. Then uh, it gets a bit longer, x minus, oh sorry, it's x plus length, my mistake. x plus length minus one. Then it's y plus height minus one. And then the finishing one is z plus width minus one. Okay, so that's just making everything one block smaller inside of our house. And to finish off with, we just need to put a comma and write air to close off that section. That way we're using the air block to create or hollow out the house. So if we stop that and run it again, you'll get your big slab of bricks like we did before. And you'll have to actually go through and dig a few of these bricks away so you can actually walk inside the house and see that it is now completely hollowed out. So we've got a pretty decent looking um, house there on the inside. We've now just got to make it look a bit better on the exterior. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is put the door on. For the door, it's not actually a swinging door, it's just a hole, a bit like what I've cut into the house there already. So we're going to be using air blocks again to create this. So it's mc.setBlocks. We're going to start at x, y plus 1, so it's just above ground level and then z plus two. And uh, then we're gonna do x plus one, y plus three, and z plus one. And use our air block again to draw this door. So let's give this a bash and see what happens. Okay, let's pop over and have a look. So there's our door. You can easily walk into the house now, have a look around. And we've got a bit of light coming in too, so we can actually see inside the house. So that's looking good as well. Door's done. Next thing we'll put in is just next to that door, some windows. So let's put in a comment that says windows. Actually, not windows, it's just a window. mc.setBlocks, and we're going to do x, y plus 2. Uh, I'm going to do z plus 4, x, y plus 3, z plus 5, and then use the window variable, which is a glass pane to draw this window. So if all goes well, we should get a window just next to the door over here. There we go. So let's go and have a look. That looks pretty good to me. If we go on the inside, you can see a little bit more light coming in now. And you can see it's just a thin pane of glass. It's not a big, thick block. All right, so that's looking good. Last thing I'm going to do now is just whack a roof onto this house. So there's not too much to do here. So put in a hashtag that says roof. mc.setBlocks again. Now it's going to be x minus 1 for start position. y plus height plus one, so we're going one block above the house itself, and then z m minus one. That's our starting coordinates for this roof, and then we're going to do x plus length plus one. So we're just going that one step further, so we've got a bit of an overhang on our roof, a bit like a gutter, I guess you could call it. y plus height plus one. And z plus width plus 1. And we're going to put roof as the block we're building with. I'm just going to zoom out a bit there so you can see all of that code because I know it's getting a little bit cut off there. But there's most of the code we added in today. Okay, so just double check if things aren't working. Make sure you've got everything right. Let's give this a run. So we should have the door, the window, and a roof on our house. Okay, so that's looking good. If we go for a fly, you can see it's just a flat roof. If we go all the way around the house, there's nothing at the back. Pretty straightforward. And that's how you build a simple house using Python code. In the next video, we'll try and make something a little bit more complex than that.